Good morning, my dear students and my dear friends. This is Sudhir, and welcome to you all on today's class. And today we are going to start our next chapter, and the name of the next chapter is Large Numbers. Okay? So let me tell you one thing that you have already learned our numbers up to the nine digit in standard fourth. Okay? And the same thing we have to learn in this chapter. So let's start with five digit numbers. Okay? So which number are five digit numbers? So it is so simple. The numbers having a five digits are called as the five digit numbers yes as a number which has five hi digits hai, then we will call it as a five digit numbers okay so there are two definition the first one is the uh, the five digit numbers okay the numbers which consist of only five digits okay only five digits are called as the five digit numbers and the next definition we can make like this the numbers having only five digits or a number having five digits are called as the five digit numbers so we have already learned how to make a smallest number and the greatest number yes so the smallest number which is five digit number is 10000 yes this 10000 consists of four zeros and one at the highest place that is which is on the 10000 place okay and the largest number is 99999 which is our greatest five digit number so kahi agar fill the blanks aata hai ya fir match the pair aata hai so you can solve the questions okay so let's move towards the next one and that is a six digit numbers so aise kaun se numbers honge jo six digit ke numbers honge it is also simple we can make the definition as this yes uh, that we have already done okay so what is a six digit numbers the numbers having six digits okay aise number jisme sirf aur sirf six digit hi chahiye okay usse kam bhi nahi hona usse zyada bhi nahi hona theek hai so that is all about the so it is a six digit numbers the numbers having six digits are called six digit numbers so dear students the six digit numbers started from 1 lakh okay 1 lakh then 1 lakh 1 1 lakh 2 1 lakh 3 1 lakh 4 1 lakh 5 and continue up to the 9 lakh 99999 so 9 lakh 99999 is the greatest six digit number and this one which is a 1 lakh which is a it is what it is a smallest six digit number now let me ask you one thing look here if it is which number it is yes it is 5 you can say that it is 5 if i am adding zero towards the left hand side of the number what will happen 50 ban gaya kya nahi it is still 5 okay let me add, let me add one or two more zero towards the left hand side you can say that we can see that the value of 5 is still 5 abhi tak ye 5 hi hai that means what if there is a zero towards the left hand side it is meaningless don't count it agar aisa likha hai to usko four digit number mat bol dena it is not a four digit number okay it is still 5 if you want to write 5 we need only one digit that is 5 so it is a one digit number okay so what what does it mean it mean that if you are writing a zero towards the left hand side of the number it is meaningless but if there is a zero in between the two non zero digit non zero digit matlab aise do digit jo ki zero nahi hai aur unke beech mein agar zero hai so you have to count it okay tab aap isko count karoge and this number is a uh, 10000 yes 10005 ones tens hundred thousand and ten thousand that is ten thousand five so here the zero is present in between the two non-zero digit in this case you have to count these digits us time is digit ko kya karna hai count karna hai theek hai and similarly if the zero is present toward the right hand side of the number what will happen the value of the number is increases okay value kya hogi increase hogi because when you will add a zero toward the right hand side the digit which is non-zero digit will shift to the highest place pehle wo ones pe tha to tens pe aa jayega tens pe tha to kya hoga 100 par aa jayega that means what here the value of the digit is changing the place value of digit is changing and if the place value of the digit is changed the number is changed okay so i hope you understand about the five digit numbers and six digit numbers so let's move towards the uh, next topic okay 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 dear students so now let's move towards the next topic here we will try to make the smallest and greatest number okay so first of all what we have to do 
uh, let's write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Okay, so here first of all we will try to make a smallest one digit number, greatest one digit number, then 2, 3, 4, 5 up to till 9 digit numbers. Okay, so here first of all we will write the smallest one digit number. So which one is the smallest one digit number? Now someone says that 1 and somebody will tell, uh, sir it is 0, so don't be confused. Okay, let me tell you one thing. So the two concepts we have already learned. The first concept is what? A whole number and uh, the natural numbers, yes. So the smallest natural number is 1, yes, smallest counting number is 1, but the smallest whole number is 0. Now what should I write here? Abhi kya likhenge smallest number mein? Okay, so here I am talking about the counting numbers. Don't consider the whole numbers. Okay, so the smallest counting number is 1. Okay, smallest counting number which is the smallest one digit number is 1 and the greatest one digit number is 9. Yes, because the 10 is the, because 10 is two digit number and the number which is just before the 10 is 9. So, 9 is the greatest one digit number. Now, let's move toward the two digit number. So, the smallest two digit number is 10. Yes, the smallest two digit number is 10. Now, the question arises is that how we get a smallest two, a smallest two digit number? It is so simple. You have to add one. What you have to do? You have to add one. You have to add one in a smallest one digit number. Then, sorry, greatest one digit number. Then you will get a smallest two digit number, which is 10. Okay. Then the two digit greatest number is 99. Greatest two digit number is 99. Because 100 jo hai, to 3 digit hai. Okay. So this is up, up to the greatest two digit number. Now we want to we want to write a smallest three digit number. So dear students, when you will add one more in the greatest two digit number, we will get the smallest three digit number. That is 100 and here the greatest three digit number is 999. Okay. So now you can see here there is a pattern. Here is a pattern. Ban gaya hai. Na, which pattern it is? You can see here it is only one. Here one with zero. Here one with two zero. Then one with three zero. One with four zero. One with five zero and so on. Okay. And here also you can see a pattern. Only one nine is there. Then two nines. Then 3 times 9, then 4, 4 times 5 times 6 times. Okay, so then you will get the all the smallest numbers and the greatest number. So here we can write the smallest 4 digit number is 1000. Smallest 5 digit number is 1, 2, 3, 4 which is 10,000. Smallest 6 digit number is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 which is 1 lakh. Then the smallest 7 digit number is 10 lakh, okay, 10 lakh and similarly the smallest 8 digit number is 1 crore, which, which one, 1 crore, yes, we have already learned the numbers up to the 9 digit, hum pehle hi standard 4th mein pad chuke hain, here we have to again, oi, revision hai, we can say that uh, there is only an international number system new, it is only one new topic included in this chapter, which is an international number system, so now we are learning about the Indian number system. Okay, this is a Indian number system. Ye pura Indian number system hai. Natural number system have the place of three three places. Okay, and in the, in the Indian number system, the first period has the three places. The second period has only two places. Third period is also have two places. Two, 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 and so on. Okay, yahan par humara jo place hai, three ke baad two, 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 two hai. But in the international number system, all the periods have three places. Sub so, three three places here. Okay. We will learn about the international number system in the next videos. Okay. So nine digit number is ten crore. Okay. And we have already learned how to write a ten crore any number using the commas. So what is the meaning? Why we are writing these commas here? Okay. Because these commas are separating the digits into the that is separating the periods. Okay. So it, it will help, it is it helps to quickly recognize a number. When you are writing the comma, then you can quickly recognize a number which digit is present in 
which particular period. So you can read the number quickly using the separation of digit into the periods. Separation of digit. It is so simple. We have already learned about the separation of period using the commas. It is so simple. The first period have three places. Second period, which is a thousand period, have two places. The lakh period is also have two places, and crore period is also have a two places. So we can read the number easily using the commas. If you have not put the commas, then you can write it first of all, then read or solve the questions. Okay. So now let's move towards the greatest numbers, and we just read now to write four times, four times, and five times, one, two, three, four, five. This is the greatest five digit number. This is greatest six digit number, which is nine lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. Then ninety nine lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Then nine crore ninety nine lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine is the greatest eight digit digit number. And similarly, we will write the greatest. Nine digit number, which is ninety nine crore, ninety nine lakh, ninety nine thousand, nine hundred and ninety nine. So, dear students, you have write this table into your in your maths notebook, and the previous topic also you have to write. Okay. So, dear students, please note down in your maths notebook. Okay. Hello, hello everyone. Okay, dear students. So next topic is reading and writing of the number using the place value chart. So dear students, always remember that two things. There are two systems. There are two system in a modern number system. The modern number system is divided into two parts, and the first is Indian number system, and the second is international number system. Okay, so that the Uh, today we are going to learn about the Indian number system, and you have already learned about the place value chart in standard fourth, standard third. That system is a Indian number system. Okay, so what is the difference between the Indian number system and the international number system? We will learn after this video. That means in the next video. Okay. So first of all, I want to tell you the first row. Which row? This is your first row. and the first row is indicating the periods okay p e r i o d e s this is the periods okay and these are the places these are the places so dear student this is your first period and the first period have three places ones tens and the hundred okay this is one period and the one period have three places then the second period is thousand period and the thousand period have two places That is thousand and the ten thousand. Okay. Then there is a third period, and third period consists of two places. That is third period is a lakh period, and lakh period have the two places, lakh and the ten lakh. And similarly, the crore period, which period? Crore period. Fourth one, which is the crore one period, na? This period also have two places. Yes, this is the fourth period, and the fourth period also have two places, crore and the ten crore. so here what we have to do we have to learn how to read and write the number in international oh sorry in indian number system indian number system mein hum log in numbers ko kaise read karenge that we have to learn okay and uh, kya learn karna hai isme we have already learned about that hai na so fatafat se isko complete kar do what is that let let's solve the first one we have to read the number which number first number which is written in yellow color okay so you can see that It is a nine-digit number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. This is a nine-digit number, and the nine-digit number is okay. It is nine-digit number. So it is started from tenth crore place. First of all, what we have to do? We will write the number into the place value chart. Okay, so place value chart. We wrote. So did. Now what happened? After writing, after writing, what happened? Okay. So first of all, we have to write the first number. and what is the first number listen carefully one thing the numbers which are in same period mai fir se bol raha hu same period not same same period matlab kya we have to observe crore period lakh period thousand period and the ones period okay we have to 
टेक द नंबर टेक द डिजिट टूगेदर दोनों नंबर को साथ में पकड़ना है अगर दोनों एक ही सेम पीरियड में है तो ओके सो यू कैन सी हियर दिस फाइव इज ऑन करोड़ दिस फाइव इज इज ऑल्सो इन करोड़ दैट मीन्स दिस टू नंबर हैव द डिफरेंट प्लेसेज बट द पीरियड इज सेम सिमिलरली हियर सिमिलरली हियर दिस सिक्स एंड थ्री आर प्रेजेंट इन थाउजेंड पीरियड द प्लेसेज इज डिफरेंट बट वी हैव टू टेक together when you will read the number you have to read together so read 55 crore 55 lakh yes take these two digit together because it is present in lakh period 55 lakh 63000 okay it is 63000 then this 471 is present in one period teeno ke teeno ek hi period mein so we will read 471 how can we read the number 55 crore 55 lakh 63,471 and in this way you can write the number in words also so you have to write it okay uh, you have to write downside आपके नोटबुक में जगह नहीं होगी so you have to write downside below this place value chart okay now in the crore and the 10 crore place second number का question देखो in the second number there is no digit at the crore place crore places crore वाले period में कुछ है ही नहीं so leave it so we will read this number 40 lakh 41,420. So you have to write in words. Then the third one. It is 55 crore 66 lakh 77,111. Okay. Similarly, let's read the fourth one. Listen, dear students. You have to write the name of the number. Name of number. Downside. Name of number. मतलब spellings. हाँ. Spelling लिखना है इसकी. So okay. ओके फोर्थ वन विच नंबर इट इज ओके दिस फाइव इज एट दिन करोड़ प्लेस दैट इज ऑन करोड़ प्लेस सो टेक द नंबर टेक द डिजिट टूगेदर विच इज इन सेम पीरियड सो फाइव एंड जीरो सेम पीरियड विच इज करोड़ पीरियड सो इट इज फिफ्टी करोड़ देर इज नो लैक लिव इट सेवन थाउजेंड देर इज नो ऑन हंड्रेड प्लेस दिस नो डिजिट दैट मीन देर इज नथिंग ऑन दी वन प्लेस और सॉरी वन पीरियड में जो आपका हंड्रेड प्लेस है 100 प्लेस में कुछ है ही नहीं एट दी हंड्रेड प्लेस देर इज जीरो सो लिव दैट वन रीड डायरेक्टली थर्टी टू लेट्स रीड वन मोर टाइम इट इज फिफ्टी करोड़ कोई बात नहीं देन सेवन थाउजेंड थर्टी टू इट इज फिफ्टी करोड़ सेवन थाउजेंड थर्टी टू इन दिस वे यू हैव टू राइट इन वर्ड एंड सिमिलरली यू कैन रीड द नंबर फिफ्टी नाइन करोड़ सिक्सटी नाइन लैख थ्री थाउजेंड Okay, we have to take these two digits together. Here is no digit that zero is here. That means there is no nothing. There is it is not non-zero digit. Okay, this is non-zero. No, so we will write it directly. What will we do? Three will be there. Why? Because if it is one, then we can read it as thirteen. If there is two, so twenty-three. But there is no any non-zero digit. Here, one, two, three, four. There is nothing. So it is three. Okay, here is not a. Here is nothing. Here is nothing. So there is no nothing at the ten thousand place. 10,000 प्लेस में क्या है सिर्फ जीरो है ओके सो वी विल टेक 3,000 एंड देन डायरेक्टली वन बिकॉज एट दी टेंस प्लेस एंड दंड्रेड प्लेस वहां पर भी हमारे पास ये कुछ भी चीज नहीं है आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट इट सो यू हैव टू राइट दिस ऑल द प्लेस वैल्यू चार्ट इन योर मैथ्स नोटबुक एंड यू हैव टू राइट इन वर्ड्स ऑल्सो आई एम सेंडिंग द पी डी एफ माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स हैव अ गुड डे बाय